I don't know what it is, but there's something about me that I think people are willing to take a chance on. What's up, guys? I am Nyla Simone, and I'm here with my girl, Maida. And we are here with our genius family and our partners, Duce Cognac, and this beautiful home in Brooklyn to create some brunch cocktails and enjoy some brunch food, which I can't wait to get into. We're gonna start out with the spicy sidecar. It's one of my favorites this summer. We're gonna take a lemon, cut the lemon in half. The juice, a half a lemon. We're gonna put some orange liqueur in up to the top line where it says three quarters of an ounce. But it's okay. gonna give us some of those like orange citrus notes in there and just a little bit of sweetness, you know? Okay. All right, so next we got Bacardi mango chili. So this is gonna add just a little bit of spice. I love a little spice. We got one more ingredient. That's the most important one, the douce. We're gonna go for a whole ounce. Yeah, there you go. You know, you can't, you can't skip on the douce. Ooh, I never expected this. We're just gonna get one dash of hot sauce just to spice it up, just just enough, you know, okay. nothing too crazy. And just hit it right here, it should pop. We have these dehydrated mango slices with chamoy on top. We're gonna garnish with one of these. Beautiful. Cheers. 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 Ooh, brunch is just getting started. So we had a spicy sidecar. I think it's time for something a little bit more refreshing. So we have a Douce Lemonade Spritz. We love a spritz. First thing I'm gonna have y'all do is cut a couple slices of lemon wheels so we can put them in the glass and make it look pretty when we add the ice. Well, here's my little wheel. Maybe a little, Maybe a little too thick. I like my lemon thick. Any like crazy Douce brunch stories? I've had a lot of shows when Douce was like the drink of choice. Mm. And it's my pre-show like ritual. It wouldn't be a Douce brunch cocktail without adding the Douce. So we're gonna use the big side of the jigger this time and we're gonna fill it up to the line right there. Next up, we'll add some lemonade. Should be about two ounces. I liked how that looked. And then some we need prosecco. a little bit of Prosecco. Because it wouldn't be right without the bubbles. And last but not least, just a little bit of peach syrup on top. Some of those apricot notes to play with, similar notes in the douce. So we're gonna do a half an ounce. I feel so fancy. Cheers. Cheers you guys. The douce lemonade spritz. Y'all hey, yeah. part of the brunch society now? Yes. I love it. That is good. I definitely wanna dig into talking about your career a little more because my introduction to you was habits, and I know that probably feels like centuries ago at yes. this point, but for those who aren't familiar with you, like, how long have you been at this? Leona Lewis came out with Bleeding Love. Oh, I remember I, that record. Yes. yes, and I remember seeing it on like VH1 Top 20 Countdown, and I saw her face come on the screen, and I thought she was like the most beautiful thing in the world. And I was like, that's what I want to be one day. It, I just latched onto that dream and that became my life. Were you always able to sing or did you like have to develop that? Oh, I think I always thought I could sing. I was so <laughs> confident when I was young, like crazy confident. I swear the key to success is delusion because if you know too much, you psych yourself out. Yeah. But if you really don't even think about that stuff, it's like you just convince yourself you can that you're it, it. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Do you still feel like you had that delusion? A little bit, but I think as you get older, like get the em. delusion yeah. isn't as realistic as it was when you were younger. Yeah. But I think it's good to still have that. I think you should just be a dreamer your whole life. You are such a Pisces. That is I, the most Pisces thing that I'm you've such ever a Pisces. <laughs> That's real. I think a lot of people kind of underestimate not only self-belief, but like strength it takes to like bet on yourself, go to a whole different town. You have to take risks. Yeah. It's an unknown, like you gotta just jump into that. As an artist, you should be bold and be willing to just take certain risks. Like life is too short to be scared to just try stuff. Love the fact that you and Kate Trinata collab, like mm -hmm. huge Kate Trinata fan, and it just, it felt good. Was that like on the list? Like I wanna do a dance. Project. It really wasn't. That happened so fast. Mm. I've been working with Kate Trinata since like 2021 or something like that. I have a song with him called Teen Scene. That was my first like collaboration with him. And I was kind of trying to stall my fans while I worked on my debut album that I'm working on now. And we are like, let's just throw a project out for the summer. I feel like I'm always, I was, I'm so over it now. But I was crying about this relationship for so many years and every song was about this man and ugh. I was like, let me just do something fun. Okay. And it wasn't so deep, it wasn't okay. so sad. Like it's still, there's still love in there cause that's just who I am. I'm a lover girl 
everything about me is love, <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to not be so serious. So talk to me about your creative process in the studio. I, I don't know how people bring like 40 people to the studio when they work, I can't do that. I like to be alone with the lights off, in my own space, the blinds closed, a little bit of douce. I love that. It's like my sanctuary and I don't want anybody there to tell me what to do, so. At what moment did you know made us here to stay? I think when I was working on my project, When I Hear Your Name, I was working with so many amazing people. Like I worked with Pharrell, I worked with The Dream, like just legends. And I was like, if these people are working with me, like I have something. I don't know what it is, but there's something about me that I think people are willing to take a chance on. So I think that is one thing that definitely boosted my confidence. So online, I know we see these narratives all the time, like R&B is dead. And R&B is not dead, you could even killed if you tried. Mm. It gives you a feeling that no other genre gives you. R&B is not dead, never was dead, you can't kill it. What's next for Maida? I know you said you're ready to get back into your singing bag. I'm working on my debut album, I've been working on it for a while, but I'm in a place right now for some reason oh, where man. I just want to live life. I feel like I've been working so hard for the past few years. Okay. I want to fall in love and travel the world. I want change, I'm embracing change. But I need to just live for a few months and travel and go on vacation and then I'm gonna come back with more to sing about. But I am working on my debut album. It should be coming out next year. So far it's really, really good and I'm proud of it. And it's new sounds and things I've never done before. So mm. yeah. Well definitely looking forward to this album whenever you give it to us. Thank you for sitting down eating with me. Shout out to Genius and our partners, Duce Cognac. We appreciate you guys. Cheers, girl.